If you're a part of the 14, almost 15% of people that use macOS, then you've probably at some point used the spotlight search. It's essentially a universal search. Oh, there it goes. A universal search bar where you can look up things across your computer. Just give it some time and it's going to find it. Also, conveniently, you can Google things from here. Boom. Now, this spotlight search bar is powerful, but not as powerful as Alfred. This is an app I've been using to replace the default spotlight search. But there is another and it's called Raycast. And this one's supposed to be a lot more powerful than Alfred and a lot, a lot, a lot more powerful than Spotlight Search. Download for Mac, join Windows waitlist. Wait, it's coming to Windows as well? Oh, ho, ho, ho. install via Homebrew. Okay, let's do this the fancy way. Yoink, open up a terminal, and then all I do is paste this in. That's a bingo. It does look fancy for sure. Has that Vision Pro aesthetic. Emojis. What a cool website. I can just toggle these. How do I quit Vim? <laughs> and it gives you the answer. Okay, I don't want to spoil it anymore. So I think it's installed. Boing. Oh, don't do that. Just revealed my IP. Oh, that was a cool effect. It darkened my whole background. Start setup. Oh, there are a bunch of features. Continue. Type any message to AI right from the... Of course there's AI. Let's disable it. Install your first extensions. There's one for Obsidian. There's a color picker. Okay. Install all. I'll do it later. Let's do it later. Oh, start a 14 day free trial. Hold on a second. Raycast Pro. Maybe later. Oh, what is that animation? Press your new hotkey to open Raycast. Option space. Option space. Oh, and it reacts. Oh, what's going on? Open walkthrough. Enter. Welcome to Raycast. Oh, so this is like a tutorial. Let's just ignore the tutorial. Okay, so what if I now want to change my desktop wallpaper? Do I double click search files? Wait, that's a rookie move. It should let me search files here somehow. I pressed space. Do I click enter now? Wallpaper. Okay, let's set it to this one. One of my favorites from this wallpaper pack. Link in the description. Search files, search emoji and symbols. Nerd. <laughs> Sums up this video pretty much. So the three things that I use... Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening? So the three things that I use Alfred the most is looking for files and inside of Alfred, by default, it only looks for apps. But if you hit space, it then looks for files. Then I usually do calculations and search things on Google by just typing it in. Or I do this, which lets me search within perplexity within another website. How long do cats sleep? And it searches for this thing within perplexity. Cats typically sleep between 12 and 18 hours a day. So at least I want to recreate these features within Raycast. First is file search. What if I just do Shrek? Oh, that gives me voiceover. So I have to select file search and then I can look for Shrek. Seems like there are a bunch of Shreks on my computer. Open command enter actions command K. Add to favorites, copy deep. I have no idea what that means. Oh, there's clipboard history. For clipboard history, I use a separate app called Mackie. It's free. Oh, also speaking of Mac apps, I want to tell you about Setapp. They're the sponsor of today's video. Setapp is essentially a subscription that gives you access to hundreds of expensive Mac, iOS, and web apps for a comparably small monthly fee without you having to go out and find stuff on the web. Let me show you how. Let's say my menu bar is super cluttered, which it is. I'll type in tidy up menu bar and boom. It's suggests a popular app called Bartender. I click install and look at my menu bar now. The best part is that there are no trials, no credit card numbers, no license management. I clicked install and it's here on my Mac just like that. Or if I need a quick VPN, I'll type in VPN. It suggests a VPN. I'll click download and it automatically signs me in and lets me connect to a VPN without the need to sign up for an extra account. Setup has more than 200 most popular and powerful Mac apps that work together to to help you with project management, streaming, gaming, presentations, and more. Apps on Setapp are also fully functional and have no in-app purchases. You can try Setapp for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description. And if you like what they offer, subscribe for a monthly or an annual subscription. Click on the link in the description to get started today. Okay, back to Raycast. One important feature is I want to be able to pin things to my clipboard. Can I do that here? When I right clicked, it opened this. I think it's actions. Oh, so this is like a separate menu that's specific to what I have open. Right now I'm in clipboard history and these things have changed because before I was in file search, I think. Pin entry, shift command P. Oh, I love that it shows keyboard shortcuts. Command shift P, boom, it's pinned. So now if I copy something else and open my clipboard, there it is. There's grass that's pinned and legs. Oh, if I hold command, it gives me numbers. So if I do command one, what just happened, it probably pasted the first thing. So if I want to paste here, command two, 
two. Boom. Okay. One thing that's different is it opens what I last used. So I'm still inside of my clipboard history, inside of Alfred. If I look for files, then escape and open it again, it just opens brand new. One thing here, do I always have to navigate to search files? Because that's an extra click. In Alfred, it's super fast. Command space and space, and I'm looking for files. In Raycast, it's command space, and I type in search files and then enter and only now I'm looking for them or maybe if I just type in the file name Shrek oh no it's voiceover of course search files is the second one so I have to go to it enter and then it looks for Shrek export quick links what is that confetti wait that's an actual command oh confetti confetti confetti. <clears throat> what am I doing? Extensions. Oh, here we go. There are all of my apps here. Oh, there's alias and hotkey. Wait, what if I do alias A for Alfred? Does that mean when I type A, it's... Oh, yes, it is. And enter, it opens Alfred. Command comma for settings. Oh, did you see that? I held command. Boom, there's numbers here. Oh, I love that. You don't have to go up and down. You can just hold command and press a number for whichever thing you want. Window management center, center half. Okay, let's do command eight. It just disappears. Appeared. Not sure what happened. Let's go back into settings. Shift command R. So now if I press shift command R, it will open Alfred. Boom. <gasps> Wait, this is really good. Okay, let's reset everything. So now if I want to open calculator fast for whatever reason, I can just do command shift C. And does it open? It does. Wow. Okay. Get current location. That's disabled, thankfully. So how do I search Google? It's voiceover again. Inside Alfred, I can type whatever I want and it's going to search for that. Okay, what is this random PDF? Should I go inside of it. Boom. What am I looking at? And so here, if I want to look for something, oh, there's search Google. So I have to go here, quick link, and then enter, and it searches for that. Now, inside of Alfred, I've also set up a bunch of shortcuts to different websites, like P for perplexity. How to create shortcut to website in Raycast. Search Google. Use create quick link command in Raycast. Quick link name, P, then I need a dynamic link. I can just yoink this from Alfred. Oh, it grabs the icon immediately. Wait, in Alfred, there's no icon unless you set it yourself. And it just grabbed it from the website. Ooh, save quick link, command enter, command enter. And so now if I do P, only has paste recent screenshot. Oh, I shouldn't do space. And it has query here. Oh, for a quick link, you don't put the thing you're searching for after a space. You put it inside of this, inside of query. So that's tab to go into it and shift tab to go back. How long do elephants sleep? And it works. Oh. Elephants, particularly wild African elephants, sleep for an extraordinary short duration compared to other mammals. They typically sleep only about two hours per 24 hour period. Wait, actually? This mammal's sleep time is largely due to their need to spend much of their day feeding as adult elephants consume around 300 kilograms of food daily? 300 kilograms? No way. Elephants typically consume between 100 and 400 pounds. Okay, it's pounds. Can I convert this using Raycast? That's 100 kilograms per day. Oh, didn't think this information would reach my brain during a Raycast video. Confetti. Boop. I'm just going to randomly do confetti. It's going to become the same thing. Oh, I need to go into settings now. Can I do accessibility? Yes, I can. I'm going to fidget with it the same way as having this enabled. Shake mouse cursor to locate. If I have this enabled, I just keep doing this whenever I move my mouse. Look, it gets bigger when you shake it. That's what she said. You know what? I'm leaving this on and also confetti. Okay, maybe I should do the walkthrough tutorial four weeks from today, 10th of March. Wait, surely not. Four days from December. Oh, I'm not in the main page. December 2021. Okay, that doesn't work, but this works. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is impossible in Alfred. Eight days. Yeah, it just looks for that thing on Google. Why did my mouse become an arrow? Hello, macOS. What's happening? Oh, now it's back. Use create snippet command to create your first snippet. Script command. Note. Wait, it has notes. Hello, command P to browse notes. But how is this a note taking app? You can have up to five notes on the free plan. Oh, okay. Okay. Create a snippet. Snippet name, leg. Let's just put in a bunch of numbers. Include dynamic placeholders for context, like the copied text or the current date. Wait, really? Cursor position. Ooh, clipboard text, argument, and UUID. Oh, wow. This is useful. What's cursor position. Trigger snippet expansion by typing the keyword in 
any app. So let's do the keyword numbers. And if I open text edit, oh, I'm doing that with Alfred muscle memory. There we go. Number. Oh, and that should have been the cursor position. Not sure what that does, but the snippet worked. Can I remove it now? Delete snippet control X. Beautiful. And it says snippet deleted here. Okay. I'm liking this so far. So what would this do? If I snap a window to the right, what window will it snap? Window is not resizable and everything disappeared. If I open Firefox, right? Oh, task completed. Left, right. Okay, probably there's a way to set up keyboard shortcuts for this. Wait, command K, open command, add to favorites, copy deep link, configure command. So if I configure it, yes, I can add a hotkey. Of course, I can already snap windows with another app that I have installed, rectangle, eject all disks, empty trash, hide all apps except frontmost. So it can do a bunch of system commands by just typing instead of having to click a keyboard shortcut or having to go into settings. So I can toggle stage manager. Boom. How does stage manager work again? Oh, there it is. I needed two apps. Boop, beep. That's beautiful. What's learn more? Oh, it opens a Raycast manual. What's 3% of $123 in pounds invested at 7% after three years? No way it can do this. Oh, okay. 12% <laughs> of $321 in JPY, Japanese yen. So the calculator is pretty advanced. I want to recreate this though. Oh wait, it actually works. £2.75. And how do I do invested at 7% after three years? One 1.07 and 3 like this. Wait, I forgot times. Okay, I just put a bunch of symbols. Not sure if it's actually the answer. 337. Compound calculator. Search Google. Interest rate is 7. Compound annually. Length 3 years. Inflation rate 0. Boom. Ending balance 337. Was it the same here? Oh, that's a different thing I had copied. Let's go into the clipboard history. 337. Oh, and it was able to understand all of this in simple words. Did you see the mouse cursor get bigger? Beep, 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 beep. I'm pretty sure that I can't do this in Alfred. I can do 123 to pounds to euro. No, I can't. Interesting. What actions can I do with files? Command K, open, show in finder, quick look, open with, open and closing folder. I use this a lot. Oh, it puts the folder inside of here and then I can open with enter. If I look for the same file inside of Alfred, I can do command enter and it opens it in finder. Oh wait, it opens in finder. Oh, it's the same one, command enter. There it is. Okay, so it can do everything that Alfred can can, but it's more customizable and there's a bunch more stuff in here. Oh, it has lines to align itself in the middle of my screen. That's a cool thing. I can set keyboard shortcuts to open everything. That's so good. If you type fast, it's super satisfying to do things with your computer by just opening up this search bar and typing turn on stage manager or set volume something like 100. Oh wait, yes, extensions. Extensions can access your files, use third party services and are automatically updated. Control Obsidian with Raycast. Control how? What does it do? Search note. Okay, I'm sold. Install extension. Google translate. Let's get this one as well. Yoink. Search SVG logos via SVG. Wait, I do this a lot when creating animations with the Manim library. Space, enter for files, 3.py. Boom. You can see I use a lot of SVG images. Premiere SVG. Can I now just find them here? Search logos. No way. Oh, what if I need something like Steam, for instance? It's here. Linux. Oh, this one's blank. Copy SVG text. Copy copy file, open SVG in browser. Oh, look at that tiny penguin logo. Which one would look cool in an animation? This one, the Docker logo. Can I just drag it to my desktop? Yes, I can. Oh, this is so good. Let's just create a quick animation. Yoink. Now, all I need to do is move that file into another folder, space, enter animations, and then I just drag it in here and it should work. There it goes. Oh, and it does look cool. By the way, if you want to learn how to create animations like these, and especially if you have no clue how how to code, I leave a link to my Manim course in the description. I started learning how to make them having no clue how to code and it's a great way to spice up your YouTube videos or something like presentations at work. So let's explore the Obsidian extension, append task, create note. I want to search note, search note. And if I do Shrek, oh, never mind, it's inside of here. I can specify a note and the tag Shrek. Oh, and it finds it here. Enter again. That opened the note inside of Raycast. Can I open it in Obsidian? Yes, it's command enter, command enter. 
cursor. Boom. Oh, it's I love the way the mouse cursor gets bigger. Confetti. So Raycast can act as a command bar for a bunch of separate apps. If I don't want to open Obsidian and then create a new note, I can just create a new note like this. Oi. And it should open Obsidian. There it is. So I didn't have to first open Obsidian and then create a new note, which takes a similar amount of time, I guess. If I want, I can do it inside of Raycast. I'm very happy about the SVG extension, not gonna lie. Secondary German, primary English, October Fest. Wait, can I make it speak? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> October Fest! Color picker, install, boom. There's a lot of people using these. Pick color, am I picking? Oh, I am picking. Let's get the name of this text. Marc Julien, probably not French. So is the color copied to my clipboard? Yes, it is. Speed test, the performance and quality of your internet connection. Wait, let's test my internet. Oh, it's testing immediately. Upload speed, 700 kilobytes per second. Kilobits, probably kilobits. Lock your keyboard to clean it easily. I've been using a separate app to to do this keyboard cleaner tool or something it just disables the keyboard so you can't type anything and this just has it built in as an extension there's gif search can i download gifs once i search for them download gif option command d and it's downloading <gasps> this could be very useful for people that use a lot of gifs in their videos <clears throat> fireship i'm watching a 100 things you can do with raycast video and there's a cool thing i just found if i do gif search look for whale i don't know and when i go into actions i can instantly start typing to search for for an action so download i can just enter which means that i can do everything with the keyboard okay download doesn't exist for this svg for some reason this demo has failed because i have to drag it into my desktop to save it i'm still so happy about this svg extension also in the settings you can set after how many seconds it forgets what you did so now if i go into my clipboard history if i open it within 15 seconds it's still going to be inside of my clipboard history i'm used to this happening immediately so i can just set immediately and now if i go into clipboard history command enter and open it boom i'm back in the beginning that's a great setting start stop and save countdown timers directly in raycast oh yes please i always set a timer when i work because it adds a little bit more friction since when i want to procrastinate i have to open the timer and stop it and also it helps me make sure that i actually do an hour or two hours of work instead of watching youtube for 40 minutes and working for only 20 minutes if you've never used the timer to do work try it out it's a game changer when I edit videos, I always use a timer. Also, when the timer ends, you can just stop working. It gives you permission to rest. So I end up not wasting my entire day thinking, oh, I can still do more. I don't have to. The timer has ended and that's it. Just try it one time. You'll see how much more productive you'll become. And can I uninstall extensions from here? Yes, I can. This is like using Vim. You can do everything with your keyboard if you want to. There's a built-in typing test. 89 words per minute. Those are rookie numbers. Look at how nice this looks though. 93. What? New practice. 95 new practice 98 i need to hit at least 100 i'm not stopping until i do oh there it is <laughs> that took way too long confetti okay i like this app bye